Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. So today, uh, this is a comparison video. This is more like what you'd pick out of the two drones I've got on the table. So I've got the Hubson Zeno and the Femi A3. We've never been in a better position or a cheaper position to go buy a drone to get into camera photography. The, this is now under £300 with the price reduction and this is around 235 We've spoiled at the minute whether we're harsh on these things and saying they're not as good as other drones. These things are both great for getting you into the hobby now. So this has now got all the updates. I posted a video the other day after this had all its updates, controller and everything. This is a different beast. This is not the this is not like the Xeno I reviewed when it first came out. All the issues I've had. This is now great. I, I think this thing flies fantastically well. The Femi, you've seen the videos I've done. I absolutely love the thing. But the problem now is there's not much of a, there's not that much of a difference in price. So what I've done is the video you're going to see coming up. I flew them both on the same day, one after another. I flew, and they're both in 1080p, 30 frames a second. You're going to see. So if you can live with a 1080p only drone, would you pick this? Or would you still go for the Xeno and have the capability to go into 4K afterwards? Not everybody has a 4K TV, but you might get a 4K TV. So this is really a quick, to make your mind up which one you'd rather buy, or would you rather buy any of these? Would, still, would you still rather go for the Spark? So the Xeno has 4K, 2.7 and 4K, massive advantage. And it now films something like, I think my camera is now acceptable. This is not DJI Mavic. It's not got, it's not as good as the Mavic and it's not got the picture quality of a Mavic or the Autel Evo or all the other type of drones that you've probably seen on my channel. However, this thing is great now. I, for the money, I think this is fantastic. And it's now at a price point. I don't know whether they're going to keep this price point. I've heard a rumour that they're not, that it's just a special offer. But if they could keep the price point to under 300, then this would be a great drill. This only films in 1080, but it has a longer battery life and it flies like a dream. I still haven't done a firmware update on this. It still flies like a dream. The only issue with this has, if you're fast, the gimbal, you're going to be able to tell with the gimbal because it's only two axis, third axis stabilised and it can't cope with it. Whereas this one has now had a gimbal update and it's definitely improved it. The other thing that's improved on this is now it can pan much slower, uh, sorry not pan, it can now tilt the camera much much slower than it did before so you can adjust the speed so you can get nicer smoother pitching of the camera. On the two controllers, absolutely no doubt, this thing has had a firmware update the controller, I don't actually know what it did but it's no different whatsoever. This controller is absolutely magnificent it's just beautiful to fly with. The controls feel great, the stick feel amazing. It's very locked in. Much better controller. So it's like I said, I'm not saying buy this over this or buy this over this. That's not this type of video. This is saying that at the minute we're a bit spoiled for choice. And we've never been in this situation. We've also got the Femi X8SE, which I'll have eventually if I can ever get older one. And that's 4K for under £400, foldable still well under DJI's price and don't get me wrong these are not going to compare to DJI's the the not none of them do I, I don't really I've seen videos comparing the Femi X8 to a Mavic, a Mavic Pro I still prefer the Mavic Pro all day long because of all the different features it's got and it's got precision landing and all the rest of the stuff but you pay a premium for these for these items so these two are great entry level. So the reason we only recorded in 1080 was to make it fair because they both this one's only got a 1080p camera. I filmed in a very, very poor day. It was horrible yesterday when I went out. I managed to miss the rain, but the wind had died right down. So it's great, it's gloomy, it's overcast. So you're gonna have to put that into the equation. However, they both filmed one after another, both in the same area, same type of same type time of day and roughly about the same height and angle of the camera so you're going to be able to see which one looks better. What I would say is the Femi looks to have a more zoomed in picture than that. Um, I never noticed that before until I've just done this video. It seems to be in my opinion more zoomed in than the camera on this. I'm thinking this could got much wider, a wider 
lens um, and I'm not going to say to you which video I prefer I want you to tell me in the comments what you think looks best I, I now like them both I, I, I had massive problems with this it's been re, it's been returned it got sent back and they sent me a new one the band spanking new one out of the box because I had the issue of the camera you've probably seen the video they did where it flashed a colour on the screen it went green and purple just a whole screen that's now been resolved and now it had all the updates on it flies like a dream it still drops slightly to the left which it's going to which it still does but so does this this still drops slightly as well they both drop when you go to the left and that's probably because I don't know the parameters are way to set up cheaper GPS units whatever I don't know what's causing the issue but it's something they've improved on this so I'd imagine it'll improve on this and like I say I haven't done a firmware update I've just been flying this out of the box because I love it so I've just been couldn't be bothered to take it, I'll take it out and fly it. Where this has had all the updates now. So controller wise, no issue. Flight wise, they fly about the same now. It didn't, this had major issues with it. And if you've seen, if you, ha if you haven't seen the issues I've been having, watch my older videos and watch a video I put up the other day of it with the, soft, with the firmware update. It was drifting a lot, that's now nowhere near as bad. Still got slight drift in because it's got no sensors, but neither has this got sensors. This seems a little bit more stable in the hover. But the video today is just so you can see what you can get for your money. It really is a good time to buy a camera drone at the minute. It's never been a better time. And hopefully now more people are gonna get into this. MJX, I believe, are having one with a gimbal. That can only be great news for the hobby, not bad news. It's gonna force DJI to either make a cheaper drone or drop the prices of the ones they've got or are they going to make a new entry level drone to replace the Spark? We'll wait and see what happens but I can't see that being any time in the next few months. So certainly these drones that are out at the minute are going to have, a, have the market at the minute. So like I say, the Xeno out of the box is probably not going to have all these firmware upgrades. I don't know. So if you buy one that's on the shelf now it certainly won't have it's not that big a job. There's loads of videos of people showing you how to do it. I don't recommend using the hubs of ones. I recommend you checking out QC guy. Um, he used to be, I think it was Cubs, QC hubs and support. He's now called the QC guy. Check out his channel. He's fantastic. He's mainly based on this, but he's also been doing the FEMI X8 of, of late. And his video, the true, he's real. He tells it how it is. I didn't do the firmware update on this till I watched his video. That's how confident I am that he gets it right. And to be fair, since then he's been right. And I agree with everything he said in his video. So for the money, it's now fantastic. This came out at a fantastic price as it is. Batteries are now available to get hold of easily. So you haven't got an issue getting hold of batteries. I've now had quite a lot of flights in this. And I can tell you I've had not one issue with it. The only issue I ever have is the fact that there's glare on the screen. And I can do nothing about that. And if I'm being totally honest, I probably prefer the picture on the app. So I, I do prefer the apps, but this is 5.8, so I have better signal. But I still lose it a bit because this screen isn't the best. I get glitching a lot. So I probably still would prefer, to be honest, the app control. Because at least on the app control, I don't seem to have any issues with mine. Touch wood, blinking in and out, losing signal. So I'd probably, I prefer the app because I prefer the really sharp picture I get on the screen with this thing you struggle a little bit I have flown this with goggles and it makes a massive difference but then you need a spotter but you can connect another monitor up to this so you can connect a monitor if you wanted or goggles by doing this up and putting another monitor onto here which is that would, might be a better way of doing it it's probably because this screen quite low resolution so I've gone on a lot longer than I expected to do so thanks ever so much for watching, enjoy the video that's coming up and let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think there's, this looks better than this or this looks better than this at 1080? You tell me. Thanks ever, once again, thanks for watching, have a fantastic day.